All right, y'all, welcome back to the Revenge. Truth be told, you know, we're back in our little raspberry room, you know, <laughs> do it for yourselves, clearly. But um, I have a quick little concern. So let's talk about all these sex tapes Ooh. that's going around. You know, we got the whole little, what's it called? Uh, Mimi, Mimi, Mimi Faust, Shower Paul. Right, Shower, Shower Paul. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you guys feel about that? Especially in the whole gay community, do you feel like, I will call it sexting. Mm-hmm. Man, you know, do you it. feel like it's okay to send, you know, cute little, you know, body pic? Dick pic, ass pic, um, you know, to your man or to your partner. I, mean, I don't see any issue with it. Right now, we are in we are in a sexual revolution. It's happening in little kids right now, and it's gonna happen whether we tell them to or not. It's right. I mean that's something that I did before, and I was told not to do it, and I did it anyways, or I didn't even know about it, and I still like figured it out. So it's like it's gonna happen naturally whether we tell people to or not. So uh-huh. I think. This whole, this whole um, shaming that we have of it, it's just because that's been distilled in us. And that's something right. that, that, that came from the generation above us. And it's something that they didn't do. So when they see it, they're like, oh, no, that's not the way that we were raised. So you don't do that. But it's like, okay, well, regardless, that's what's happening. So right. it's right. just so just my yeah, question at the end of the day. OK, I'm not trying to take anything away from anybody. But at what point is you? Are you putting yourself too much out there? I understand right. that it's a trend and it's a cultural thing, and we're we're part of technology, and this whole society is focused on technology. But at what point do you say something for somebody that you really building something substantial with? And that's my only thing about it. That's my only reason why I never like to send naked pictures. And if I did send them nine times out of ten, it was something I cut and pasted off of Google. Like, girl, you'll have that <laughs> because I know how the children are. You know. Hey, like, <laughs> Yes. Google, Google images, honey. I can show you hard dicks from all shapes, colors, and sizes. Do you, you find one that matches you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do that it's, all the it's time. It's Google. Because my I thing is, I know people. Picture. If you send me a dick pitch, picture, if it's little or if it's big, I'm going to be like, girl, look at this. Right. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> You know, I'm going to get in and I'm going to show somebody because that's right. the thrill of it all. Like, oh, he got a big dick or damn, he got a little right. dick. Right. Or, you right. know, right. damn, right. he got a fat ass or damn, he don't. Or even with the female, like if it's a straight thing, like. Wait, speaking most, of females. Right. Because most straight men um, get pictures of titties all the Truth day. be told. <laughs> So, uh, let's not, first of all, truth be told, honey, we have our friend, you know, our colleague, Rafael. So, how does that happen in the straight world? Do the TV How does that happen in the straight world? You guys, I'm sweating. I can't talk about that. Oh, okay. (laughs) It's because we have an all black or is it truth be told? All right, all right. Well, okay. Since, mm-hmm. y'all, since you just pulled that out of the I didn't pull it. I just, I just want to know who sent the naked pictures first. Right. <laughs> there were no naked iPhone. pictures. <laughs> so, I'm an um, over the past couple mm-hmm. of weeks, I have been struggling with some uh, orientation identity issues mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But um, as far as that goes, I'm completely confident. I know who I am. Okay. Uh, getting straight to the meat. Uh, Did y'all coming fixed? out, Coming out to a family member. And then uh, prior to that, I had, I met a girl mm-hmm. and uh, True we, fish, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Like a real girl. Biological, okay. a biological no, woman. Okay. And I mean, I'm an A cup. A uh, cisgendered <laughs> woman. <laughs> yes. A very beautiful, dark chocolate oh. woman with a oh, nice little okay. booty. Oh. Nice little, nice, you nice almost, cakes. <laughs> you almost um, fell straight for a second. So, um, Newbie and queen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, good hair too. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I had to go. You're there. not gonna throw that good hair in there, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. I had to <laughs> was it Indian or Malaysian? Which one? Or, or, oh, she got the Brazilian. Or virgin. Oh, oh, Brazilian. She got the versatile one. Yeah. Yeah. She can swim. Her tracks won't get yeah. lost. How about one of them things? No. Um, no, the, the first time I ever met her, I was completely 100% honest. No, I take that back. Um, the first time I ever met her, like we went on a date. I was I was mostly honest with her, and then the uh-huh. second day I told her straight out, like, "Well, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I've been gay for a long time, but at the same time, the experiences with the two women that I've had in my life, they Wait, weren't, two. they okay. weren't, <laughs> they weren't really. <laughs> I thought it was only one. Mean, no, let him tell the truth. Sorry, it's it's honestly more than two, but as far mm-hmm. as serious relationships go that I've tried to pursue with women, mm-hmm. there were only two that um that 
went to a sexual level. Let me ask you this. So in the midst of you communicating, when you first started communicating with her, was it more like a gay form of communication? Because you know, like when you, you, you communicate with most men that are homosexual, like in that first week or so, you either find out he like to eat ass, like the, it's put all out on the table. Do you find right. that when you're, you're conversing with a woman that it's a little more restrained than it is in conversing no, with a man? No, no, because... Um, everybody. I, Why I think you look at me? Because, because um, I'm just. The I just. I have. I have uh, gotten this title of trade somehow, but um, no, I think, I no, think, no, no. What it really no, is is just I have no. a very versatile personality. When I'm with you guys, I am just the cattiest <laughs> and the cuntiest. But you feel when like I'm, that you ain't that kind, bro. <laughs> I mean, I can't top Chris, but uh, in, in all avenues. That's a lie! You know, but. Um, Why is this natural? But at the same time, um, when I talk to girls. Uh, you just feel like the problem. Let's go. Show us how you talk to. Show us. Demonstrate. No, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Is it, I'm hold Keisha. On. No, are you my best friend, Keisha? I'm Keisha. No, are you my best friend, no, no. Keisha? This hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, what's up, baby? How you doing? Oh, and all this pretty ass hair. Oh, do I put a phone on me? Oh, God damn, baby. Oh, baby, you want to give me a kiss? What's the plan? Oh, so you can't give some illusion real quick. Come on, just give me a little illusion. A little illusion. Interior illusion. Oh, just like a nigga. You sound just like a nigga. Exactly. And that's when you turn her on that iPhone. <laughs> That's when I get on so, my Vidster and we just, so you know, get butt naked. Getting back to the conversation. So you've never sexed with her, right? You've never, like, sent nasty pictures or... Oh, no, no. We didn't start off like that. We didn't start off... I'm talking about we didn't now, though. But you've done it? Oh. Are... She sent you a picture of her pussy. It's been two weeks. We don't need to. We've seen each other naked. We've we've done. But I'm do. just saying. Has she sent you a picture of her pussy? <laughs> do you have a picture said. of her he pussy? He said he didn't no. need to. So I didn't. I didn't need to. No. So, I've been down there. Okay. My okay. next question is to everybody because Second you know we got we got the parallel <laughs> with our. Well, I just want. I don't. I'm not gonna identify you now. I'm gonna let you live in your own truth. Oh, yes. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm let you. But would anybody in this circle ever make a sex tape? Yeah. Yes, oh, okay. I, I have. Hold yes. on. No. no. Yeah. I don't know. That's right, Donnie. I have. Yes. I don't know. I this is my Heather right no. here. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have. Now, yes. a sex tape, no. But a sex thing I have done before. I think that's so cute. It is. Maybe I'm just weird. Girl, what? A picture of your but now, yes. it, has to be, it has to be with somebody who you trust that yeah. won't leak it. Right. Right. Just, right. Okay, but, but, not the fact that you're looking for it to get leaked, but I mean, it is fun to just. Maybe make your own, like not yeah. just think about you yeah. know getting it leaked, but just make your own. Like I'm sorry, I everybody that, is know? having sex. If I do it and you leak it and you have something to say about it, like fuck you. Like I'm sorry, you're having sex. Everybody has sex. And if I want to make a video and I want to watch myself and I want to see how I'm doing it, then that's great. And if you're gonna share it and you're gonna have something to say about it, like why do you have something to say about it? It has nothing to do with you. Like, but maybe do I'm you just... do you think? But I I understand where you're coming from. But do you think that? You will invite unwanted attention. Hold on, hold on. On care. that topic, I don't maybe care. maybe yeah. I want my sex tape, uh, my sex tape to leak out, so they could be like, "Oh, Raphael, he a bottom, but he got a big old dick, and he know how to use it." Mm. Maybe, but maybe I, but I want that kind of. But attention. at the same time, I'm but, saying, I'm saying, as you as Raphael? you move forward, Wait, as you move you forward in you life, away from that sex tape, yes, right. will there ever be a point in time? Where you will be ashamed, like me. I have a sex tape, and every once in a while, I go over to that nigga house and check him. Wait, like, you still got that one up. the tape? First of all, first I just of all, feel like <laughs> you didn't tell us you had a sex tape. Okay, okay. y'all don't know a lot about me. I'm grown now. Grown <laughs> 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 <Yeah, laughs> But this is my thing. I understand where you're coming from, Thomas, because I I share your opinion. I I wouldn't really care if it was leaked, but at the same time. I know how vicious people can be and right. I know how popular culture is. So mm -hmm. that's why sometimes I tend to be like, what if this did get out? Especially mm -hmm. because I do work where I, I, I'm trying to be vocal in the community. I'm trying to support the community. And sometimes people will take that one thing and use it to define you as a person. Yeah. Not just take it in the moment. Like, oh yeah, everybody has sex. 
They was fucking on tape. It is what it is. They'll be like, oh, how that bitch sit up and talk about this, that, and the third. Because right. you're human. Right. Because you're human. But I just, I'm, right. I'm just playing the devil's advocate. Oh, yeah. Nine times out of ten, no, I understand. people I understand. are going to be malicious towards you because you made that sex thing. I, right. I mean, I guess the thing is, though, at the end, I really just, I maybe mean, it's just because I just don't care. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's not even it's not even not caring. That's just the best phrase that I can come up with right mm-hmm. now. But it's like, it's like I don't, if somebody has that opinion, it's not going to do anything to me. And the thing is, for you to have that opinion, for you to be malicious like that, mm. it it's it. What is that doing for you? It, uh, what I right. did and what that video was isn't mm. doing. It isn't directly affecting you. For the so for then for you to react in that way. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, karma or God or whatever, the universe is just gonna come back and get you for that. Like, for real. I honestly believe that. Yeah, my just, moments where I want to be a little freaky, you know. Hey. Well, that's yes. part of the I mean, so it so happens. Crazy. I mean, yeah. I mean, when you're in a relationship. You have those moments where you're like, oh, boo, let's uh, turn on the recorder. You know, turn on that little tape. You know, let's let's yes, let's I mean, turn it up a little. You know, but at the same time, it's just I can only speak from experience. I've had my moments where I want to say, hey, boo, take a picture. You know, mm-hmm. oh, I want to see how I'm doing. You know, oh, let's yes, let, let me just look <laughs> at it. Back look like? You know, but at the same time. I don't think at like in our community we would never think the person that we're with at the time will be that type of individual to really leak it out or just share it to their friends if we ended on bad terms. I will say I did do a sex tape. Unfortunately, he never got out. Thank the Lord, praise Jesus. Girl, what okay. is it I've done now? I want to say, girl, because no, no shade. My sex tape was ratchet, honey. It was at the magic carpet <laughs> on Century in the jacuzzi room. I was up there with a bottle of Palm Basan turned all the way up at 17. And baby, you ain't never seen nothing like it before. But, right. Oh, but, my God. You know, that's yes. what I'm saying. So I can just imagine no, that's if my tape. tape came out at 35, I'm with my partner. And, you know, I may have a child. And all of a sudden, I'm all, like, now, you know. <laughs> now, if your partner did see that sex tape, how would you feel? Like, would you be ashamed of it? or I would slightly feel like. I feel like I disrespected him because of that. There's no way for me to defend against that. If somebody was to come at me in the wrong way or come at him in the wrong way about mm-hmm. it, there's no way for me to provide protection for that. Like, mm-hmm. I can't say, well, well, you know, I can't just be like, well, fuck it. Like, that's kind of rude to me. So I would still mm-hmm. have to deal with that person's feelings. Mm-hmm. And like Donnie said, I would still have to deal with the backlash to that. Well, that was a good topic and discussion about sex thing, but... You know, people are so quick to let you know their sexual prowess and what they like to do and how they like to get done. But why aren't people so quick to talk about, you know, their statuses or getting tested when a new re- new relationship is forming? Why do you think that is? I will feel because it's not a priority. Mm-hmm. And when you talk about getting tested, it refers back to being, you know, taking care of yourself. Mm-hmm. It refers back to a health standpoint, you know. Our community, you know, from what I've encountered, a lot of us, we we care mm-hmm. about the health side of us, but then we don't care. It's not as much of a priority to make sure our health, and when it comes to our health, our own self is important and healthy, you know, and at a good point to where it's like, okay, I'm good, I'm working on myself. I'm going to get tested. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, you know, natural for those who are important to know about their self as opposed to everybody else. So, I think that just people need to stop being so, so damn defensive. I mean, because if somebody, because if somebody asks you to go and get tested with them, first off, you shouldn't get offended because they care enough right. to say that. They care enough to say that because half the time we don't care about enough about ourselves to do that for ourselves. So for right. someone else to do that for you is so flattering. It really is. It's no reason to be like, what, you think I'm a hoe? It's like, no, I, no. I just I care about you and I want you to know if you're good or not and if and what, and what you need to be doing to take care of yourself regardless of what your status is. So, yeah, I think people just try to make... Try to make um, a situation out of nothing and try to get defensive, and that just starts a war out of nowhere. That's true, but I think you have to also be sensitive about it too, because a lot of people are worried about what other people think. So you have to kind of be sensitive to their needs and how they feel you're gonna approach the situation. Because then, what if somebody does come back HIV positive, and then they're not ready for your reaction, and then they gotta deal with that? You mm-hmm. stigmatizing them, and then out in them like, oh, you nasty little bitch. So, I mean, you kind of have to really be sensitive to the fact that somebody may come back HIV positive. Yeah. True. Yeah. But at the same but time, that's... if these are like your true, like I would say for like true friends, you know, 
Because if these are your, like, say, we're all one big family mm-hmm. at the end of the day. Like, we all know each other in some area, shape, form, or fashion. So, like, say if somebody was to come back like, HIV positive, like, for me personally, I'm not going to look at you any differently because you being HIV positive is not going to make me think of you any differently. Like, True. that's just a health standpoint. So, if True. anything, I'm going to support you because I don't know what you have going on in your own personal background mm-hmm. that I can't control. Mm-hmm. So, me being your friend, you know, I'm going to support you. Unfortunately, we don't have that support group in our community to where we have those real friends yeah. in our circle to, to to be able to support us in that area if case something like that does happen to where it comes back to us, one of us being HIV positive, you know? So... I'm just different. I'm not going to look at you any different if you are HIV positive. Hell, if you have cancer, mm-hmm. diabetes, that doesn't change the look or the thought I have of you as a person. Yeah, true. But that's just you. You right. have to think of it as a general consensus. Like, everybody everybody needs to just be sensitive to the fact that somebody you know may just be HIV positive. It's a cultural thing. Yeah. Like, my mother always raised me, go get your teeth cleaned at least once a year. Go get your physical, see what's right. going on with you. Like physical don't wait here. till the, don't wait till everything is breaking down. And I think right. a lot of the times when we talk to our community, especially young black men and women, it's a little it's a little off putting when you talk about healthcare because of our lack of access to healthcare right. and because of the traditional right. norms set in our community that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. See, so I think a lot of it. I think a lot of it has to do with that. I don't think it just has to do with the stigma and your whore and stuff like that. I think a lot of it is that we were not trained to take precautions against things happening. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, we, because you have a lot of men who are afraid to go get just regular checkups on themselves. Right. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be nothing. You know, it doesn't have to be anything to the extreme to where you have to go have surgery. It can just be like you know, hey, I'm just going to the doctor. Mm-hmm. Just get a checkup. Mm-hmm. You know, most men naturally they don't feel like they have to. They they don't want to get you know that second opinion about them themselves because mm-hmm. all of us we know we try to our own you know home remedies. Oh, mm-hmm. but child, you're fine. Just take this pill mm-hmm. or just some take some robotestin or some tea tree oil or some mm-hmm. or yeah, some You know, yeah. you're fine. That's you're fine. You know, but I mean, sometimes home remedies just isn't the best thing Sometimes. and that like you said yeah. is a cultural thing it's yeah. just i feel like it's just far as men because men we don't want to hear the reality it is hard to go get an hiv test the first time i got an hiv test it was very hard to go get an hiv test because until that point mm-hmm. i did not get a test i didn't know what it was to get an hiv test i didn't know what that test was going to tell me I didn't know. I didn't have any education behind getting a test. Right. So when you say to somebody, "Have you gotten an HIV test?" They might not even know what HIV stands for. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because just because we live in 2014, let's just not say, "Oh, everyone's educated." Because we here as a group, we're educated well enough about HIV right. AIDS prevention. Like it's it's in our regular conversations. But to the average young person out there, there's still a lot of people that don't know that you know you can contract certain diseases. There are right. certain people that don't know if you take certain precautions. There's people that don't know about PEP and PrEP. Yeah, hey, but that's a lot so, of people that don't know about common sense. And I'm yeah. still figuring out what to do that. <laughs> so, so, so even in that light, we have to, I think at the end of the day, the message needs to be wellness overall. Right. Mm-hmm. Once wellness. we teach mm-hmm. wellness in our communities and about prevention and preventative therapies and using medicine more as a support system versus a cure-all, mm-hmm. I think that will help us and, and make our community more conscious about getting tested for HIV. Because right. like we, we said in earlier shows, this is something that's affecting our community as black people, as Latino people, as minorities in general. It's affecting our community at right. such a rate that we need to start having these conversations. And it doesn't just need to be HIV test. It needs to be, why haven't you gone to... But where can we get tested, Donnie? Everyone, especially the young, gay, bisexual, and queer men of color, could right. get tested with us, Revenge. Of course. Hello. On 3717 South La Brea Avenue. And mm-hmm. you can give us a call at 323-329-9912 to schedule your appointment. Our phone we'll number is always on. And so you can get your results. The results take one sec- uh, one minute to come back. And everything's confidential. Too. Everything, Everything is, is confidential. confidential. You don't have to worry about your business. Bro, this is right across the street from the jungle. Right. Coliseum, <laughs> right. 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 right next to the <laughs> church <laughs> So come yeah. visit us. Buy the steak and fry, plenty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the day, for everybody who was still trying to find and understand, at the end of the day, love yourself. 
Mm-hmm. Love yourself to the point to where if you're in a relationship amongst your family, amongst your friends, what any or everybody has to say about who you are as a person, as long as you know who you are as a person and you love yourself, that's the ultimate answer. Come on, beloved. Yeah. Yes. 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 So love yourself. <laughs> take care of yourself because we love to look a certain way as a community. Take that and fight back. Take on revenge. HIV. Yeah. Take revenge. Because at the end of the day, like I said, love yourself. Self-care. Take care of yourself. Be honest with yourself amongst your peers, amongst your family. Because at the end of the day, we are all here for one cause. And that is to take fight on HIV. And to live our purpose. And to always. live our purpose. Yeah. Let's fight back. Let's, Let's take, take revenge. revenge. Bye. 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 Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Revenge. That's R3BNG. Or give us a call at 323-329-9912. Make sure y'all tune in next week on Truth Be Told. Ended by people wondering if you're gay or not, or does it matter? Like, do you just carry yourself how you are? Um, I don't really care that they wonder, because, I mean, I guess, it, I guess it, uh, on a level it's kind of flattering. Uh, no. Because you need to be mindful because at the same time, I know where that person is coming from. I used to be that before. He looked at like, ooh, uh, he too gay. He too gay to work up here, but...